real quickly. Let me subdivide that and we can see what we're getting here. So now let's go back into our left view. First let's select these polys. Right on top. Like that. And let's hit the X key to extrude them. I'm going to extrude them up a little. I'm going to shift click, extrude them up again. Shift click and extrude it up again. And let's just take it all the way up to about the size of our shoe there, like that. Let's go to our edges, select that edge. Let's scale it out like so. Hit the W key and let's pull it down like that. Go back to perspective. Again, let's select the polygons in the middle. B for bevel. Make sure group polygons is selected. Bevel them in. Shift click. Take it straight down. And then delete those inner polygons. Okay, so now all we got to do is grab these points here. this and like these and I don't want to select any other ones besides the front ones and I'm gonna hit the W key and we're gonna pull them out like this and there we go now we have us a, a boot a really low poly boot Let's turn back on our backdrop. Okay, now let's go ahead and just roughly line these up a little bit. Like so. Let's grab these and bring it down. Like that. Grab these points. Now we got our cartoon boot for our cartoon character. Okie dokie, go to perspective. Let's turn off our backdrops. Okay, now we have our toe. Let's go ahead and work on our toe here. Let's pull these out. Like so. So our toe's a little pointed. And you can tweak all you want to your heart's content. However you feel, it has to look. I'm going to take these on this side and push them back in a little bit. Because that's the inside of his shoe there. And I can take these and pooch them out a little bit. Like that. Okie dokie. Now let's go on and build our leg. And we'll, do, we'll start that from perspective view with a cylinder. Okay. And I'm going to roughly drag out an eight sided cylinder with two segments. Like that. Right in the center of our boot. down like that and we'll take it up like that let's go to our left view turn back on our backdrops so I can see and let's go to wireframe okie dokie now let's um, take these top verts and move them into place I'm going to scale them out a little bit, like so. I'm going to take these middle verts, 
move these up into about right there. Okay, dokie, let's grab this edge and I want to scale this out a little bit. Like so. Now let's go back into OpenGL. Let's select that, sub D it. Now I'm going to select this top, hit the B key and click once just to bevel that one time. Okay. So now let's do the same thing on the bottom. Click once, B, boom. Now we can hide that and move this back down. And now I can use my vertices and I can go in here and sculpt my leg. So Have these bottom ones, we'll scale them in a little bit. Okay, let's unhide. Go back to perspective view. Now we're getting a little cartoon leg here. Excuse me. So let's go ahead and delete this bottom polygon. Like so. And I'm going to go ahead and run one loop slice at 50%. And as you can see, we got some problems with our geometry. So what I'm going to do is kill those right like that. Now I can select these, move them down, go to my edge mode, select this edge, this edge, bridge them. I'm going to run a loop slice right around through here to tighten that up a lot, like so. And of course, we need to go in and clean up our geometry, which isn't hard to do. I'm just trying to see here which ones I want to get rid of. Um, that'll do. That won't do. This here has to go. And we can run our slice all the way around. If we can be so lucky. Her right there. That keeps our geometry flowing pretty decent anyway. So, I guess this can probably do it for now. I'm just fuddling around here, is all. Just adding an edge weight to it there. Okay, maybe we don't need this all together. Let's see what happens there. I'm not real sure. I don't really think we need that. 
Okay. Because this will be textured and filled in, you won't be seeing it, so I'm not real concerned about the detail. If you know what I mean. As long as it connects together, then we don't have a problem. Just take it down like that so it'll even be harder to see. Okay. Now, there's our fairly low poly cartoon shoe and leg. Okay. If you want to tweak to your heart's content, be my guest. It's completely up to you. All on how you want to work it. I'm going to go in here and try to get rid of these star points. I mean, which they're perfectly fine. But um, I, 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 sometimes I can be really picky about my geometry. 